Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the look of stained glass windows from photos. Open a photo of someone or something that you'd like to use for this project, as well as a background that we'll use to place behind the stained glass. I downloaded these from Shutterstock. The first step is to separate our subject from its background. If you're using CC 2018 or later, open the Quick Selection tool, and at the top, click the Select Subject button. Photoshop does its best to make a selection of the subject. If there are areas that are missed, just click inside those areas. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag the tool over those areas. We'll smooth out our selection by going to Select, Modify, and Smooth. I'll smooth it 10 pixels and press Enter or Return. If we convert it into a quick mask by pressing Q on our keyboard, we can see that it indeed smoothed out our selection. Press Q to revert it back into a selection. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the photo. Whatever is black in the layer mask masks out that corresponding area in the photo, which in this case is the background. Whatever is white reveals that corresponding areas in the photo, which is our subject. We'll convert our isolated subject into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. Check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. If they're inverted, press X. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Texture folder and click Stained Glass. I'll make it cell size 26, the border thickness 8, and the light intensity 2. Feel free to adjust these amounts based on your document's size and resolution. This image's resolution is 150 pixels per inch. The black lines in our image represents the metal, usually lead, that joins the panels of glass together. These lead pieces are known as leading or caming. Next, we'll add leading surrounding our subject. Double-click an empty area of the subject's layer to open the layer style window. Click Stroke. The color is black. The size is 6 pixels, the position is outside, the blend mode is normal, and the opacity is 100%. Next, we'll create the stained glass surrounding the subject. Make a new layer under our subject by Control or Command clicking the New Layer icon. We'll fill it with white, and since our background color is white, press Control or Command plus Delete. Convert it into a smart object and go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Change the cell size to 48 or 49 and the border thickness to 9. In the next few steps, we'll remove all the color so we can give the letting some dimension. Double-click the thumbnail of your subject to open its source. Make a new layer and fill it with white, which is our background color. Place your cursor on the layer mask and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag a copy of it next to the white layer. Hide the bottom layer and press Ctrl or Command S to save the image. Open back the stained glass document. We now have just the letting of our subject in the background because we saved the white shape of our subject without the color. Open the Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control or Command click any of the channel thumbnails to select the letting. Invert the selection by pressing Control or Command Shift I. Open back the Layers panel and make a new layer. 
fill the selection with black, and deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Hide the leading layer, and double-click the thumbnail of the subject Smart Object to open back its source. Hide the top layer, and make the original subject layer visible. Close the Smart Objects.psb tab and click Yes to save the changes. Open your background. To place it onto the stained glass image, press Ctrl or Command A to select it and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Click your stained glass document tab to open it and press Ctrl or Command V to paste the background onto it. If you see the letting over the background, don't worry. Once we place the background below the stained glass layer, we'll see the color inside the letting. To do this, we can either manually drag the background below the stained glass layer, or press Ctrl or Command and the left bracket key on our keyboard. Convert it into a smart object, and go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 20 to 25 pixels. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Close the Texture folder and open the Distort folder. Click Glass. Open the Texture Presets and click Canvas. Make the Distortion 20 the smoothness 15, and the scaling 200%. Make the stained glass layer active, and change its blend mode to multiply. Next, we'll add dimension to our leading. Make the leading layer active, and convert it into a smart object. Double-click an empty area of the layer to open its layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel, the technique is Chisel Hard, and the depth is 100%. The direction is Up, the size is 6 pixels, and the soften is 0. The angle is 120 degrees, and the altitude is 30 degrees. The gloss contour is linear, the highlight mode is screen, the color is white, and the opacity is 100%. The shadow mode is multiply, the color is black, and its opacity is 75%. Click Outer Glow. The blend mode is soft light, the opacity is 30%, and the noise is zero. The color is black, the technique is precise, the spread is 8%, and the size is 8 pixels. Contour is linear, and the range is 50%. Lastly, we'll brighten it. Click the Adjustment Layer icon, and click Levels. Slide the input white level to the left, until you like the brightness of your stained glass window. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.